the reason that women die when abortion is illegal is that they scramble to get someone who will help them, someone who will do the abortion. And the assumption is that they're looking for someone with skill and experience and knowledge, but often the people they find either don't have those things or don't have those things and lie about it. All the beds were filled with women that uh, were there because they were forced underground to back alley abortions or because they um, decided to take matters into their own hands. Um, and the doctor we spoke to said that he called the morgue once a week for a woman that had died on, on, on the ward. We were all being watched. The phone rings. A man says, we know where you are. There were 11 counts of conspiracy to commit abortion. 110 years for each of us. So that's a long time. That might have ended Jane right then and there. Anyone who's paying any attention understands that when abortion health care is unavailable, particularly for financial and or location reasons, the majority of the people who will suffer grievously are people of color, people who live in poverty. Those folks are going to need the funding that comes from the, the funds from the National Network of Abortion Funds, um, and they'll need to travel to those particular states, regions, places where abortion health care is available, and a number of them will not be successful because it will be very, very difficult. We should be able to get health care through our health care system. You know, we shouldn't have to rely on volunteers, you know, to provide basic health care. Um, it's a very safe procedure for sure, um, but it has to be done under the right conditions. We can pontificate, we can tweet, we can do all those things, and all of those things are really important. But the humanity sometimes gets lost of, you know, a 16-year-old that dies from a back alley abortion. They don't want people, primarily female-type people, uterus-type people, to be able to control the creation of people inside of our bodies. It's so bizarre. You know, when I say things like this, on any occasion, whether just in a small group or to a large audience, it's, it's just a, it's a stopper of my own mind. They don't want that. <laughs>